Hello, this is Julian with Coffee Reviews, and today we'll be reviewing the SL28 Bio Innovation from Radio Wine Coffee Roasters. And there's the bag right there. And one more disclaimer about the construction noise. Again, apologies, uh, construction's still going on, so it's just like we kind of predicted, holds true. There is construction in the background for all four of these uh, reviews, but that being said, yeah, this is the fourth and final review from this La Palma Harry Series Hullabaloo box set. The other three videos are up now, so if you haven't checked those out already, then check them out, as at the end we will be discussing which of these four coffees was our favorite. And again, we ordered them in the one we were least excited about to the one we were most excited about. So this Bioinnovation SL28 was the one we were most excited about, and I feel like it's the one a lot of people would be most excited about. The descriptors they have on here, Tropical Skittles, Juicy Mango, Wawa Peach Tea, and Raspberry Jam. And going into this entire box set, what really piqued our curiosity about them was how the SL28s would translate into these coffees. So this one's easily the most exciting coffee in this box set and the most amazing sounding coffee. This right here is day 16 of this coffee. Huh, it looks kind of interesting. It looks pretty interesting. All right. Uh, let's get the recipe out of the way so we can start discussing the coffee just like with the other ones. We're at the standard recipe 16.67 to 1 water to coffee ratio at 204 degrees Fahrenheit. And brandy wine is a light medium American for the roast profile. And with all of that out of the way, let's start discussing this coffee. Day 8, the first impression. And this one was by far the most acidic and lively of the four coffees, most specifically because of that acidity. A pretty strong red fruit forward, kind of like a raspberry lemonade. I'm very much a theme with this coffee. Very subtle peach in the background, but it's dominated by some red fruits and citrus right from the start. Lemon and raspberry. Um, day 10, still not overly exciting. Can kind of understand the tropical skittles that they have on here, but probably the priming effect. We would never call this coffee overly tropical skittle forward at any point. Um, more of a citric candy sweetness rather than a clear, distinct taste of skittles. And love Skittles. Um, used to eat a lot of Skittles uh, back in the day, but uh, yeah, uh, can't, can't see the correlation, the resemblance on the Skittles right here. Uh, most dominated by the red berry components in it. Most, like the best description we have, pretty tart raspberry lemonade was kind of what we were getting on this day as well. Day 12, it was the most consistent of these coffees. Uh, we've said this a lot about Brandywine coffees that they never taste the same two different days, but this one was pretty similar. All three of these days, this fourth time we're trying it, it's actually a little different, but most consistent by far. Nothing overly distinct, red berry dominant with a bit of lemon, some stone fruits, but not nearly as present or prominent as the citrus or the raspberries in this coffee. Very slightly earthy and vegetable as it cools down, and here on day 16, it's a little bit more, yeah, candy vibrant, candy forward. This one would probably be a little bit more akin to the tropical Skittles, and maybe you did need to wait just a little bit longer, but yeah, this one's a lot more fruity right now on day 16 than it had been on any of the other days. It's actually, this is pretty impressive. This is the first time when we've done a review that the coffee we made on the final day is way better than it had been on the previous days. This right now is a lot better than it was in the past. All right, let's go ahead and put up the tasting wheel now, which no longer looks correct because of how much the coffee has changed in these last couple of days, but yeah, here's the tasting wheel. So the berry fruit, level four, citrus fruit, level three, stone fruit, level two. Um, this was the least sweet of the coffees as of the time I made this tasting wheel and made this tasting wheel on day 12. Acidity is level three, not the cleanest. Um, medium bodied, man, this tasting wheel now looks way out of date because I would raise the sweetness to level four. Uh, I'd raise the citrus fruit one, correction, I'd raise the stone fruit one probably and lower the citrus fruit. So the stone fruit probably level three, the citrus fruit level two, and the chocolate definitely goes down. I can't believe how much this coffee has changed over the course of these last four days. I, I mean, that's pretty normal and stuff, but uh, given how consistent the coffee had been up to that point, um, this one, truth be told, was my least favorite, but as of right now, it's very different. This tasting wheel no longer looks accurate for day 16. This is a pretty accurate representation of the first three times I tried this coffee, but as of right now, it definitely isn't. So take it with a grain of salt, I suppose. Lots and impressions of this coffee. Uh, it's been a weird one, it's been a weird review, but the first three days we had it, we were thoroughly disappointed by this coffee because with so much hype and expectation, the one we were most excited about, it definitely wasn't our favorite of these four coffees. That being said, on this day, it's really good. They did a good job.
shop on this day. So uh, kind of wrapping all four of these coffees up, this one up to this point had been our least favorite, but I think now that we're kind of looking at it, the uh, Lactic Geisha would probably be last given how good this one is on this day. This one would probably be our third. The uh, other SL28, the natural SL28 would be our second favorite. And then the Citra was by far our favorite. The Citra's still our favorite. This one was pretty good. It improved a lot, as you can kind of tell, but yeah, the Citra is definitely our favorite from this entire box set. And those are the rankings we'll go with. A type of person we would suggest this coffee to um, based off some new information that has changed over the course of this video. Somebody that I guess has a lot more patience because we were patient with this coffee I and mean, we let it age the most. Day eight, it was the last coffee we tried and um, it had the most, you know, it stood on the shelf the longest and given that now on day 16, it really has kind of opened up and been a little bit more in line with the flavor notes that they had listed on here. It's a lot better, but that being said, people that still like that kind of raspberry tartness, it's not a raspberry lemonade on this day as much anymore. Weird and interesting review, and we kind of like that it's changed as much because, um, yeah, we didn't really want to talk negative about this coffee given that we were pretty let down initially, and it has changed drastically to the point where we're actually quite pleased with this coffee at this point. So yeah, we're gonna leave it at that. We're gonna leave this entire box set at that. And if you've tried this box set, we'd love to know which of these coffees was your favorite as well as um, this one came through for us at the end. Still love that Sidra. The Sidra was really impressive. And honestly, the entire box set, it was worth it. It was not too bad of a price and it was really good. Well, no complaints about any of the coffees. Even the one that was our least favorite was something we enjoyed. So massive kudos and props to Brandywine. If you're enjoying the content, give this video a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. This right here has been a review of the Bio Innovation from Brandywine Coffee Roasters SL28. 